Yo yo, we're back in After Effects. And in today's video, I'll be showing you how to create this viral music for your transition. It looks super smooth. And we'll be using 3D cameras and masking and stuff to do this. So it is really interesting. So let's just get into After Effects and show you how to do this. So this is the effect right here. As you can see, I already made it to test it out. But we're gonna go over to this clean comp right here where we be starting the effect. So the first thing we're gonna do is go over to our second clip, which is this, and hit Control D to duplicate it and then right click it, go over to time and just freeze frame it. So it simply turns it into a simple freeze frame right here. So now if you scrub through, you can see it is just a still frame. So this is exactly what we want. Now we're gonna bring this over to our another clip. So it overlays over our first clip so something like this now after you have your second freeze frame on top of your first one what we gonna do is start masking out the window in your case if your character is not in the car you can max out anything literally like you can max out his glasses you can max out his eyes and just zoom it through that to create that effect but for us we'll be using the window because we got the window so why not so we'll be selecting this layer go to where it says the pen tool right here as you can see the pen tool or you can just hit g in the keyboard and just simply marks out the edges of this card right here just marks it out really simply something like this something like this something like this something like this and the last one right here and now you can see we marked out the window area and it is only showing that before going more into the video i just want to let you guys know about the best preset pack out right now which is called essential fx and transition bundle it includes the v1 and the v2 together and if you don't already know i dropped these packs few months ago and it has been absolutely blowing in the underground like every single other underground music video uses it it can be used on other project as well if you are like anime editor or like even like car edits and stuff so it is absolutely packed with sauce it comes with 80 plus presets and I'm being for real when I say this, I went 80 out of 80. So every single preset hits hard. So yeah, if you want to download it, I'll link in the description. As I said, best pack out right now. So make sure you don't miss out on it. But let's just get back into the tutorial. But we need this max inverted so it will act like differently. So that will be hitting M in our freeze frame to bring up the max right here. Go which way it says add, just turn it into subtract right here and it will just cut out that area right there and we'll have a hollow area which we can zoom through and create that transition now after we have this you can rename all of these layers so i'm gonna i'm gonna name this freeze frame right here uh with marks and we'll call this footage two and we'll call this footage one so everything is organized and you guys don't get confused now what we're gonna do is make a camera above our freeze frame layer so make a camera uh you can use these settings right here setting doesn't really matter but anyways just create a camera right here trim it till the end of our freeze frame so it is exactly at top and if you haven't already just toggle season most and turn on the 3d on the freeze frame then firstly we'll be hitting p and our keyboard go over to the last frame right here and hit the stopwatch in here hit r to bring up the rotation on all the rotations and hit the stopwatch in all these rotations not the orientation right now we are just using the rotation for now and you can also hit the stopwatch in the scale if you like and then select all this keyframe put it at the end now we're gonna go over to the beginning first frame we're gonna zoom into the window for that what we'll be doing is using the g position values so if you see your position right here in the last this is the g value right here so we're just gonna make it into something like minus 200 or some the value completely depends on your camera millimeters and then you can use the other position value so it goes into the actual window you know what i'm saying so something like this something like this something like this and we're gonna zoom in more and now with the simple keyframe if we play it through, 
you can see we already have this zoom type of animation but our last position values are affected for some reason maybe because i selected both of those keyframes when i was doing it so for that we're just gonna reset the values at the end and put this keyframe at the very end again now if we scrub through again we can see we have this simple zoom in effect already going on and if you want to make it more like interesting that's why i keyframed all these like rotation values you can like play with the rotations and stuff as it comes so maybe i'ma bring up the bring up my y rotation to around like 18 and as it goes it goes like that so it looks a little interesting i feel like maybe like 15 maybe like 18 is too much maybe like 15 so with the rotation animation i feel like it makes the animation a little interesting but now i think our base keyframes are done so we're gonna easy these and make it more smoother so i'm go around like here and select my position keyframe and easy those real quick by hitting f9 go into the graph and make sure you're in speed graph and place your play head around like here and just like adjust uh, adjust the speed graph according to your play head so it like peaks at your play head right here like that i'm not make that much of a tight graph maybe something like that yeah something like this now after you're done with your position graph make sure you don't play with the play head because we want it at the center of our graph and go back now we're gonna easy is the y rotation keyframe so easy is those f9 go into the graph and now adjust the graph according to your play head again so we basically eyeball it to match it together so everything happens together basically now after these graph if i play through the animation you can see it is looking really smooth and yeah i guess that's a really really smooth type of graph right there that we have going on and our first freeze frame animation is done so what we're gonna do is go into our first frame again and this time we're gonna select our footage layer we you see this parent and link and you see this like thing which you can drag and link it to a footage just link it to your freeze frame layer so basically linking our footage layer to our freeze frame layer then turn on the free and after linking it through if you take a look as you can see it goes like away as our footage comes in so it looks a little realistic and if you got it like clipping like this what you can do is just scale it in or use something like a motion tile for me i'm just like scale it in because we got a lot of space on our footage so we're just gonna utilize that maybe scale it in more and one more thing you can do is select your anchor point tool and put it around like here because we are zooming from here and hit the stopwatch in the scale of your footage of your actual footage this time and go over to the end and just scale it out so it just like zooms out as our footage comes in so it looks a little realistic it will make a little more sense in a minute because now if you play that through you can see it just like zooms out as our footage comes in and looks a little realistic now we can bring up the keyframes of our freeze frame once more and go into the position values and just place our play head right here and go into our scale value and just easy those go into the graph of the scale and just make this graph right here make this graph right here so it happens as soon as our like freeze frame comes in right there as you can see then now we're gonna turn on motion blur on everything so we get some smooth motion blur and we're almost done with this animation as you can see but we gotta make our window come in so it just like closes off our background and it looks clean so for that what we're gonna do is duplicate this like our freeze frame with max layer and it will turn into this freeze frame with max 2 put this to before your original layer and we're gonna name it freeze frame window so it's clear for y'all so we're gonna name this freeze frame window right here and now we're gonna bring up the marks of this so hit m in your keyboard to bring up the marks go to where it says subtract for now and just make it so it's on add and it will add the window right here but it completely misses off our transition that's completely fine because we're gonna animate the position so it comes from below so for that again we're gonna select our window layer and in top we're gonna right click go to new and make a new null object right here and, and link our window to this long, null object right here and just turn on the 3d on it as well and now what this does is if we bring up the position of our null layer and play with it you can see it actually controls our freeze frame with window layer so that's exactly what we want now we're gonna go 
over like something like here and put a keyframe and put this keyframe at the end actually and go over to where we want to make it come in so i'm like here and put this position down so it goes down so basically kind of like windows rolls up type of effect like right here if it's like glitching like this what you can do is select the null and just like push it further into the g, g position and it won't happen right there just like a 14 in the g position would work and now if you play that through it like rolling up but it is really slow so to fix that we just gonna easy this as well and make a smooth graph in it yeah something like that yes yeah, sir that is looking really smooth with the window rolling up animation as well and now if you play it all together you can see our transition is pretty much alive but now we're gonna add some finishing touches to make it more cooler <laughs> so the first thing i like to do in here is select our footage one layer which is the card layer and we're gonna add a camera lens blur in here and lower down the blur radius to zero at the first hit the stopwatch go ahead around like here and bring up the blur amount so it like blurs in so it kind of like goes into defocus as it goes and not gonna lie the camera blur right there makes everything look so so like smooth now lastly to make it all smooth and make it all blend in together we're gonna use some wiggles and shake because we need shake between these two freeze frame and our clip to blend it in together so for that you can create your shake for yourself but for me what i like to do is pre comp all of these into one layer and add a uh, adjustment layer on top and go into my fx and presets go to user presets and open up my essential fx and transition v2 and the v1 so if you don't already know this is a pack which comes with 80 plus presets all drag and drop comes with all the basic to advanced music video effects that you need sick wiggles flickers all that shit. so it is literally goated so i'm going to use this right here so first effect we'll be adding is somewhere around like here i'll trim the adjustment layer right here and add something like a wiggle so we got a lot of wiggles here but the one we'll be using today is the hard wiggle too so if i just drag and drop it into this adjustment layer and with the simple drag and drop if we play it through you can see we have this really smooth wiggle going on already which looks really really smooth and and this is just one click actually so in one click you are getting effects like these so yeah it helps so so yeah it so yeah it really helps a lot we can even add some famous before this effect before our wiggle so it looks cool so i'm gonna make uh, another adjustment layer and trim it to like one or two frames and add the frame of one and just line up this keyframe so it is at the perfect timing and now if you play it through we have some flash before like the transition and it goes into the transition which looks really really smooth right there so yeah you can see that easily we added some framework and a wiggle just drag and drop really easy so yeah that's what i love about like essence of effect it saves a lot of time because if you sit down and try to make this wiggle yourself it will probably take you around 15 minutes to just like exactly make it smooth as this but in my essential effects it is completely drag and drop and you are getting like 80 of those so it is like insane value stack so if you want to check it out i'll link it in the description but yeah i guess with that our transition is looking super smooth and our final effect looks something like this as well so that's it for today's video guys if you like this video please consider the like button and also subscribe to our channel for more videos like this and i'm gonna see you on the next one peace